I mean, I, I think the, the problem that we set out to solve was w w even when starting the company and then eventually when the technology got to a point where you could actually build something like USDC was how can you build a protocol for dollars on the internet? Um, how can we actually have something akin to being able to have you know, photos like JPEGs on the internet or music files or streaming video, but actually have a protocol where anyone anywhere connected to the internet can transact with anyone else anywhere um, with the backing of something like a dollar. And um, that technology really only became viable with second generation blockchains um, to, to sort of do it well. And, and that's when we introduced, we started working on it four years ago and introduced it a few years ago. But a lot of people ask, well, what's the use case for this? And my use case is, what's the use case for a dollar? And so I, I, I really think that it's actually going to have more use cases than existing dollars because you can do more things with a, a digital currency dollar uh, than you can with a, a traditional dollar. You know, and we, we see this even today. You see you know, micro payments for a piece of digital, digital intellectual property on a network like an NFT on Solana to people who are using this to settle like billion dollar trades. Um, and everything in between. And I think, um, you know, there's, there's been a bootstrapping of this in the capital markets function of crypto. And so it's been really, really important for people who are trading to have like stable settlement, irreversible settlement around the world. And I think that's, that's been really key. And we're just now, as Sam was pointing out, and, and really looking at infrastructure like Solana as well, we're really just now getting to a point where this can now start to be um, connected to everyday payments. And if you have a way to, um, I mean, USDC on Solana today, as an example, you can settle a transaction in, in milliseconds, uh, you know, several hundred milliseconds. It has throughput to handle like um, real consumer scale applications and at a tiny fraction of a cent. That's incredible. And that's not with a centralized network that's running on a decentralized infrastructure. And so I think we're just now starting to see, and we're seeing this in our own business, you know, mainstream institutions, whether they be financial institutions, fintechs, consumer companies, commerce companies, connecting up to this. And I think that's, that's tremendously exciting. And I think, I think the timeline of one to two years is right in terms of when this will reach many, many hundreds of millions of people and then eventually billions of people. So I, I think we're, we're making progress. And then, you know, the, the payment utility piece is, is great. And I think our vision has always been that payments is just going to be a commodity free service on the internet. There's not really going to be a business model in payments in the future. It, just like there's not a business model for transmitting data or emails or, or things like that. Those are just commodity free services for everyone. Um, and the real value is going to be once you have hundreds of billions or even trillions of dollars in these stable value digital currencies, that they'll be used in capital allocation, capital markets. They'll be used really, really broadly in a lot of other applications. And so I think part of what we're excited about is um, all these building blocks in um, decentralized capital markets infrastructure, which is what like Serum represents and, 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 uh, and so on, are starting to come online um, and will be you know, ma major, major uses of, of this in the coming years.